You ready? Yep. Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. And today, because of St. Patrick's Day coming up, we have some Guinness Stout. So please stick around. Music! This was one of my favorite beers for quite a while, Guinness Stout. Yeah. And especially like this, this is the, the nitro. And it used to be, I think you could ju just get the nitro in uh, in a can. And uh, yeah, you still can get it in a can. Yeah, but it used to be that when you would get it, it was uh, with CO2, it was carbonated. Or this is with the nitro, which gives it, uh, as I'm talking about it. We usually it, have that I little shaker well thing it. at the bottom too. Where you hear it. Yeah, that's that's the nitro capsule. Mm -hmm. Capsule. It's always you always have to have it at this time of year when it's St. Patrick's Day. Oh, you yeah. gotta have the harp. The Guinness. Well, there is harp. <laughs> There's harp beer, but it's got a harp on it. Yeah, it has a harp it's on. It's so good. And then they have extra. They have the extra stout too. Yeah, and uh, look at that. Very nice color. A cr nice creamy head on top of it there. Mm -hmm. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Give it a scent. Mm. Ah, yeah, somewhat chocolatey. That's what I'm getting. A little like cocoa. Mm -hmm. Smoky. Got a, a little smoke taste. Yeah, it has a smoke taste to it. Lots of times it's with a stout, uh, stout. With stouts, I get the like sunflower seeds, like burnt sunflower seeds. You know how when you have the peels. Yeah. I mean the the seeds and, and I know you crack always say that. Um, for other flavor notes, I don't know. Other than a smoky and a stout, like always a have bitter chocolate. Mm hmm. Kind of a bitter chocolate. You know coffee what? Coffee beans, maybe a little bit. Yeah, coffee beans. A little bit. It's pleasant, easy drinking. And it just feels special. Guinness to Ireland. But it's funny because there's that. It's a 4.2 alcohol by volume, but there's that misconception. That it's it's Cause a it's higher, dark. yeah, because it's dark. So a lot of people think it has a high alcohol content, and that's which not the case. yeah, no, which yeah. it's not yeah. because a lot of the IPAs we drink are are seven percent, seven eight percent alcohol by volume, and they're not very dark. It's true. Yeah, some of them. That's uh, true, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> St. Patrick's Day, you've got to have some Guinness, and it's good year round. When you go to a pub, go to an Irish pub, you kind of feel like you get the real feel of the yeah. place. So Ooh. You get a Guinness. Get a Guinness. Yeah, and we have. What do we have? Some Irish whiskey. Oh my goodness, that's that's the true St. Patrick's drink. Some Irish whiskey. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. You gonna slam it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's tasty though. It does go nicely with the Guinness. Yeah. And if you like this sort of content, like the Heavy Metal Beer Club, fun, good times, then subscribe. Like and subscribe and set your bell so you get a reminder. You don't want to miss this show. <laughs> Gosh, you know, I have to say, there's a lot of times we follow some shows and I miss it. On the Tasty Meter 1 through 5, I would give it a 3.9. And I would go with a 3.5. Okay. Yeah. I think we've become spoiled with a, a yeah. lot of the, the beers we've been having, the dark beers, mm -hmm. barrel-aged yeah. beers, the very floral yeah. and strong coffee notes. This actually comes through, to be honest, as much as I, I like Guinness and I like the idea of Guinness being the traditional Irish St. Patty's beer, it comes through a little watery to me. But it's still tasty and I like it a lot and I'm not going to stop drinking it, but it's just so, um, a little more water. You know down. what? That's a good, that's a good point. Yeah, it does. For dark beer, it has a light mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Like if, if we- I didn't even thought about that. It just tastes like uh, if you had a, a Coke and your ice melts in it, you know, then it yeah. melt, melts it down and waters it down a little bit. It's kind of like that. I don't know. That's now, oh, also with the uh, COVID and things are opening up again, there's going to be, I'd imagine, some celebrations this year for St. Patrick's Day. Yes. 
And plenty of reason to celebrate. Yeah, celebrate if you've had your Cobra shot and all that. Yeah. Go, go get it. <laughs> go get yourself some Guinness at a pub. Guinness and some corned beef and cabbage. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please stay safe, drink responsibly, and, and don't, don't forget, forget to, to stay metal. Go get some. Get, go make a couple cabbages for yourself <laughs> with a, <laughs> corn and beef. Uh, don't get it confused with a horned beef. <laughs> beast, but a... Uh,